Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Currently sitting just around, we started at about 100. We've had a few um, bad flips. We had Queens versus Ace King, we just lost there, which is not really good. Um, but anyway, um, we're going around, just starting pretty much, just trying to grind out today, and then seeing how we go from there. All right, uh, we're gonna call this guy Ricky, and he could be throwing anything. Hopefully we beat him. Unfortunately, had Ace King. Pretty unfortunate. Seem to be um, getting a little bit of rotten luck at the moment, but that's all right. What we're going to do is try and uh, get a few um, get a few hands under our belt, and then try and build up, you know, from the C dollars anyway. Well, for the moment now, things aren't going our way. We deep enough stack that to to an elvet doesn't really matter too much. But we just need to stop the bleeding for the moment. Alright, so got an open ender with Queen 8, which is fine. Just gonna check there. Hidden 8. We'll be just gonna check behind and win a small pot here. Alright, hit the ace. We've got a value bet the ace 10. Oh, well, hopefully he's got a jack and he just pays us off and that'll be fine. Hopefully everyone's going pretty well today. Um, we're going to have a few videos, uh, you know, like this with the split screen as well. Some people have a bit of problems following along with when we play multiple tables. Um, the reason why I do multiple tables like that is just what happens is I can actually accumulate a lot more hands and actually helps us with the bankroll, especially with the C dollars. But today we'll just do uh, four tables for now, but it's Zoom tables, so we'll probably get uh, still a decent quantity and to give you an idea too we've probably since we started playing cash at this point we've played about 50,000 hands I'd say we'll take so it's still a decent number anyway okay hit um, top pair there hopefully really need a hand he could definitely have an over pair here but we're just gonna call it off uh, finally ran into someone that didn't have the best hand. Right, so that was nice, that was very welcome. We need a couple more coming our way just to get start breaking even. It's, so we just had a few, uh, you know, a few uh, buy-ins go down. So it was good to have one go our way. It's still early days and, you know, that's why we play deep, uh, with a deep roll. All right, got sixes here, gonna try and set mine. Uh, yeah, so the main goal today is just to try and get some, just to try and get some hands under our belt. Hopefully try and get a second session as well after. And then go from there. Uh, 34 cents, quite expensive for sixes. A lot of times it's gonna have a jack or a 10. Alright, gotta tighten up my small uh, small blinds range. But the reason why but the reason why you you tighten up at the small blinds all your blinds, um, what happens is you end up getting a lot of scenarios where you're playing out of position with a tight with a hand, and if you miss the flop, you're gonna end up putting a lot of money in the pot and then you have to fold. And that's not good. I right, got top pair, bad kicker, but we're just going to try and defend the nines. And that's fine, got pocket eights. Alright, pocket eights, got a bet there anyway. Alright, king jack suited, let's go from there. Alright, going to continue here, we do have a gut shot. We're going to throw a, a light 4 bet with A6 offsuit. Alright, and that worked, that was fine. Alright, I'm going to call with A2 suited to see if we can get spades, but we didn't get it this time. So that'll be folding there. Falking check there. I got pocket nines. Jack six offsuit is going in the trash. Gonna nice get a limp. Good. Oh, we'll just call behind. Try and steal with uh, King three. 
All right, check in there with nines. Six three offs, it's gone. Tightening up a bit. Oh, we hit the th we hit the kings. We're gonna better. Uh, it was a dangerous board, but at least we got a small little pot there. Okay, he's gone. It's got to tighten our range with the crawling with the blinds. It's the reason why you do as well. The, the reason why you do is, you know, with with a rake, you've got to tighten up because the they'll end up taking a portion of the the pot. All right, got top pair, got a heart, got a back door, back door flush draw. Alright, nice. Queen six is going in the trash. Alright, ten eight suited to bogey hand. <laughs> Not this time, that's good. Alright, so we're bouncing back a little bit. Just got a small portions. But yeah, still focusing on blind battles. Uh, especially in the small blinds. Just I think in the big blinds as well, we've been calling too wide as well. You might say, "What?" It, like I said before, you ask yourself, "Why do you have to be so tight in the blinds?" A, the rake. B, you know, you're out of position in having to fold out after putting, you know, things already in the pot. So, yeah. All right, top pair. We're just gonna value, go to value town. Just gonna let us know if he's got a hand. All right, and the eights come out. Gotta keep betting here. Could be a lot of straight draws, flush draws coming in. It's got a six, but we're not really excited about that. Um, we can actually three bet. We can actually widen our range in the dealer button. So we're going to widen our range in the dealer button, especially with three betting, because that's actually the right thing to do. Queens have got a premium hand here. But one thing we're going to be doing is really get it, you know, really just not be afraid of getting stacks in just rolling the dice i mean just within the last the last within the last um you know five videos you could definitely tell we've we've got ace king we've got it in the pot a lot a lot more times than usual and that's really good but yeah we're gonna play pretty straightforward from the blinds because you just don't want to leak that money and if you end up being wrong it's just not worth it. Queen nine suited, beautiful hands. All right, I'm gonna call here. I'm not afraid. I'm gonna see what he's doing. He's got control of the hand. Ace king just whiffed, but unfortunately, the turn king came. But if you had the queen, could have been really hard. Okay, so small blind goes over the top. A lot of people have a tighter range. Don't really know what he's shoving in there on the turn, but it looks very tight so you could be just you could have a set you could have an over pair as well yeah um it's queen nine no all right gonna check there try and get a queen with a strike suited it's a dead board with a strike gonna bet that one see better right, let's get a check here could have the best hand still when we do just gives you an idea. I'm going to call with Jack 5 just because there's a bit of a playability with the suited hand. We can also check raise as well. Unfortunately, we didn't make the hand though. We had pocket aces, but we're just trying there a little bit. Some people will actually fold there, but. Could have been a lot of times they actually whiffed it and you know sometimes you get straight that time we just had the top of his range and he was never folding because you know how sticky they get with their aces and that's fine all right got king jack probably should have three better actually all right back door flush draw 
Uh, happy to call behind. We've got position with Ace King. Uh, hoping to spark another. Qu uh, unfortunately, didn't get there. Just hoping to spark another heart. We have no idea what our opponent's got. I'm going to throw a bet in there. Hopefully, he's not trapping us, but he could have Ace Queen, Ace Jack here. He's saying good luck. <laughs> they did three bet. Last time someone said good luck. What's he got? Uh, 34% of hands. I think we get a shove. Ah, oh, nice. All right, cool. So he, we didn't actually Usually on a board like that, it's actually really scary. But the reason why I called there was because if you have a look, he's got 34%, 27%, 20, and his stealing is a bit higher over, you know, 63, three bets, 25. So his three bets quite large. So he's got a higher chance of, you know, being a little more of a risk, risk taker. So, you know, if it was one of the regs and he's very tight, we could probably find a fault there. Because a lot of times there, he'd have a set. But not all players will have a set. And now he's just upset that we actually folded. He actually tried to entice us to fold as well. 7 6 suit is easy to fold there. There's no. Because we don't close the action down with, with the blinds, um, Big Blind could actually go over the top and shove us, and then we're forced to, 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 you know, to fold. And, you know, if we could 3 bet there as well, but if he's got aces or something, or, you know, ace king, he could be shoving pre flop as well. And we're doing him a favor, not us. We're making our hand hard to play. So you'd rather have the position, or you'd be rather you'd rather have the you know us to close the action down. King Jack suited, closing the action down. It's actually a playable hand. Look at that flop. I've got pocket nines. Got a three bet pocket nines. All right, got a got a re raise here. Got a check raise with King Jack suited. Hopefully he folds here. If he doesn't have a queen, he's going to fight it really hard. Uh, I've got a call here. This is what we wanted. If he has a queen, it's really bad. But we've actually got two other cards and, and two spades. So this is actually really good for us. Pocket nines has got a gut shot. There we go. He sparked the king. We just had really good odds against, um, especially a low pot. I mean, a low uh, pocket pair. He should never have called there. Okay, ace queen. Get a, th get a three, uh, four bet there. So they... Pretty scary hand. We're probably going to get stacks in, unfortunately. But he throw bets quite wide from the dealer button. And when they're in the dealer button, their range is a lot wider. And that's another thing we've been focusing on too, is trying to focus on people's ranges. So we've got to remember. So from the dealer button, we could probably three bet here. We've got playable hands now from the small blind. So this is going to be a new adaption, that, a new adoption we're going to do. Got a bet here. We've got position. If he's if he's with the king, he doesn't have a king. He's just gonna find a fold. So hopefully that's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna call here. If we get two diamonds, we're just gonna get things in on the flop. Unfortunately, we didn't. So unfortunate, but he didn't. It's quite low. I'm not really happy with it. I'm just gonna jam it and see how he goes. So he's got kings, but we can get a diamond, but it's not a great shot. But he didn't know that you had a 10 or not. It's pretty uh, scary. All right, so we got a diamond. We got very lucky there. Actually running really hot at the moment. But like I said, we're not, we're not going to be scared uh, throwing throwing uh, stacks in and trying to give um, get as much variance as possible. It's funny, just before I started recording the video, um, I literally had Queens running the Ace King and he got two aces on the flop. Well, he got an ace on the flop, an ace on the turn, so. And also, we had some blind battles as well that just didn't go our way as well. So, you know, it, you just gotta be patient and just work through the tough times. And it wasn't really a tough time. It's just that a matter of, it's just a matter of, um, you know, just fighting through your demons. If you if you start running through a tough time, just remember what your weaknesses are. Because 
the you know the new strengths that you have in your game are probably the first ones that become weaknesses so just remember that all right so we've got two clubs there gotta keep betting here can't afford another club could have probably bet there with ace three suited but still quite wide this guy is 46 percent i'm just gonna call anyway it's suited hand all right so we've got diamonds but it's only it is a cheap pot Need a jack or an eight. I need a jack actually. Oof. We are running insane at the moment. We are absolutely running insane. I had no idea, but each jack suited seems to just run really well. I don't know why. But anyway, we'll take it. Alright, I'm gonna call with ace eight suited. We are running like god at the moment. Well, I'm not happy with this fault though. The thing is our opponent not, might not be happy as well. So we could probably call a C bet and then see if he's gonna slow down. Betting so slow. Betting low, you could be trapping with kings, trapping with aces, or he could have uh, just ace king and he's just whipping. Having an eight here, we could actually not bluff here. Look at that set of aces here. Uh, set of eights, sorry. All right, so he shoves. So this is a chance where he's bluffing. Or he's going all in. I'm going to fold. Not really happy with that. I don't think we're going to try our luck, though. Alright, just get the call with eights. He's probably gonna have ace. Oh, he's got a set of nines. That's a cooler. If we get an eight on the river, we are really running like hot. Unfortunately not. But that's just unfortunate. We can't really do much about set up set over set. Really, it's just really unfortunate. Not much you can do about it, and you can't really get upset. Some people He's going to hear all these stories and they're going to say, oh, you know. They're going to say, oh, you know, the site's rigged, you know. But really, just keep... But they just don't want to be realistic and just think, you know, oh, maybe they made the bad plays. You know, usually, nine times out of ten, I'll be able to, like, 99 out of 100, I'll be able to pinpoint where I did wrong. Uh, I'm going to call nine. It's just a risk I'm fish not to raise. Hopefully he just calls. Uh, he folds, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm going to check here and see what he does. We do have a good hand. If he checks behind, he could be trying to get a free card. <laughs> oh, man. We are running hot. Regardless of the set over set, we're still happy with that. Oh, nice. Alright, Jack for suit, I'll get a bet there. It's probably at the bottom of a range of the Jacks. I think uh, GTO is actually G um, Jack 5 suited. But we'll go with that. Alright, Jack, we're going to fold there. Unfortunately, he didn't get another dime, uh, another club. Ace Jack, suit, off suit, we've got a bet. Uh, from the hijack. It falls gone. It's got a call behind Queen Nine. It's not a bad hand. It's got a good playable hand, especially uh, post flop. But we're not going to put anything else in the pot since we had no no chance with this pot, and we didn't really three bet. If we three bet the pot, we could probably have bet the ace. But in this case, we can't bet the ace. All right, ten eight suited. We got a three bet here though. And now this way, if an ace or a king comes out, we can probably see better. Uh, yep, perfect. And we've got a heart as well. So if we get a heart on the turn, we can continue betting as well. And then you never know. Um, we could probably get a nine of hearts or something like that. Could be amazing. There is a chance you get re-raised and have to let go of the hand too. That's just part of the game. That's fine. Get a fold there. I'm going to have a look at... Took an 82 behind us, so 82, so 90, 94, 96, 98. So not too bad if you're considering like just before you guys come on and had a lot, had a start watching. I literally about I felt like three stacks. I just lost straight away. Bit of bit of recklessness, but a bit of no ace diamond. So I'm glad that we've made that fold. Gonna try and steal. Alright, got the steal, it's fine. Pocket threes could be good here as well. 
AC it off so it's folding. Alright, so you made the fold, that's fine. Alright, so from the small line, we're gonna be playing similar to an under the gun range, but probably even tighter again. But from the big line, um, we'll probably play a little bit looser, but not too much. It just, it just depends how, you know, it just depends who's actually raising as well. So later the position, the looser we can play. I've got a call here with 8-7. If he's got like an ace king, he could probably fold midway through if he doesn't hit the king. But unfortunately, he has this time. We do have one club and we have a six on the board. All right, so that's unfortunate. All right, so he could be trying to slow play uh, ace king here. I'm just gonna let it go. But he also probably checked the king. So, gotta remember, not all checks are weak. Um, he could be just checking there because he's got like queens or a jack, but he's still got a much stronger hand than us. And some people will actually check there and they know that they're actually stronger than us. Just trying to steal with jack eight. Threes, you gotta fold. Just that we don't finish the action either. So if someone re uh, reopens, we're in trouble. All right, so we got queens. I'm gonna check here just because we can get a low kick, uh, can get a 10. It's gonna be a small pot and I'm happy with that. It's just such a scary board. Um, pocket twos, we're never gonna get anything else in, so why risk, you know, if we bet there and get raised on, what's really gonna happen there? It's gonna be put in a tough spot where with pocket queens, you probably get more of a check call. And it's always handy to have a check call range because if you have a check call range and it's quite strong they can't they will find it really hard to play against you to try and bluff you all right i got a three bet with a seven suited nine seven is going in the trash eight seven suited we got position so just gonna flight there i got a bet there with ace with aces that should be fine got a check here i got a call here I'm just going in the check call range and he could have a weak ace, he could have a king. Okay, he's got two pair. Actually, he's playing at 6%. Actually, that was a miss, a misread on our part. I'm going to raise here. We've got open ender. So let's go and that's fine. So luckily he folded because we wouldn't have got the hand. And that's why you got to work out which hands you got to play. Because you have those check raises or you have re raises and they sort of then they can fold when you don't even make the hand. And that's the reason why you play suited hands and you play connectors as well. But you gotta make sure you play them in a certain uh, certain way or you're gonna lose a lot. I'm not saying I'm perfect at all, I'm trying to work it out loud myself. I got Ace King, got pop balls. Gotta check behind. There's no point playing the pot. We could, actually, technically speaking, we could have probably bet the flop, knowing that we were good there most of the time. Uh, I've got a set of fours, but I think he's gonna fold. Queen ten suit. Looks like a hand, but we don't close the action, so we can hold it go. All right. Let's see what fingers does. He's probably gonna fold though. Might try and bet a few more in the small blinds just to see if we can steal a bit more. Well, she folds a set. All right, we do have 10-3 suited here. We do have a pair, probably gonna call one. All right, I got a straight here. And seven five is never calling again. We do have a calling hand there, but there's no point betting anymore. We just gotta bay ourselves with 10 3, so we just check behind. Wasn't really a scary board, and a good player will actually know that, you know, big blinds and small blinds, depending on who it is, they're more prone to actually try and steal the, the, the hand. So, against the big blind battle and small blind battle, sometimes what happens is they'll end up shoving with a wider range. 
So that means what happens is you can call with the right range as well. Yeah, ace four offsuit, not really good hands, especially out of position. So just get out of that. Check 10, beautiful steal. We're gonna try and steal a few more from the small blind. It will add up. Uh, it's getting a couple little hands through, which is good. Queen 10 suited. All right, we are getting a few uh, steals now, which is nice. And so it's it's always handy to see what your stats are because that's what your opponents are seeing as well. So you can see if they're going to actually respect you as well. So when it starts getting ooh, queen ten, we're going to call behind. We could probably have raised there as well. Uh, why bloat the pot? Um, if we had king ten or king jack or ace jack, probably would have three betted a bit more. But because of the queen ten, I'm not going to bloat the pot too much. It's actually not a bad board for us, especially if we can jack. So we've got a gut shot here. Unfortunately, didn't get another club. If we've got another club, we could have probably even raised and just put some pressure on their hands. This all looks pretty, but we just missed everything. This is the reason why I didn't want a three bet and being out of position as well. Maybe in this sense, we could have actually got the best hand. Uh, not the best hand, but get everyone to fold. Uh, it's gonna fly out with King Queen. Well, since this is a trap, or maybe he's raising, but I'm going to try and risk it. Ace Jack off, so we get a raise though. Definitely a good hand against the dealer's range. All right, go to bed here and hopefully someone folds, but you just never know. Uh, unfortunately, there didn't work out, and this is the reason why you got to tighten your range up. Uh, I got a bet here, got the ace of clubs. Uh, so he's three betting range is five percent, which just means he's five um four betting range is gonna be even tighter. Hit a nine, just got a bluff catcher really. So he's hit a queen. This guy's very tight as well, but he's only played 48 hands. Gonna call, I'm not gonna raise him. Most people shouldn't raise that guy just because of the fact that he's gonna play straight forward though. If he's missed the pot, he's, if he's missed the flop, he's gonna fold a lot of times. Could be just uh, show betting us as well. Okay, he's hit a king. I'm gonna bet here and actually bluff it and see what he's actually got if he calls. Okay, so he's had his king. Plays tight. So I'm gonna go, he plays tight. And doesn't. Doesn't. Bet when connects. And then we're just gonna put a red label on him. And this is what you can do. Haven't been doing it enough lately though. I've got an open ender here. Got a check raise here. We're out of position, but it's something we can do. And just shove the, the river. Uh, he just folds, but you can actually do that a little bit wider, knowing that everyone's going to fold. If everyone's going to start folding to check raises, then you can open your check raising range a bit more. Uh, so he folded. You can sort of see one bet three betting range that's pretty that's actually really thin it's actually pretty scary that means he's only raising like pretty much with aces or you know i think it's just aces probably could have called for that seven six suited i right, gotta raise the pocket aces probably should have been raised higher but Right, King Queen, A6 suited to get in the raise. Alright, he folds. Mustn't have had anything good. Um, three, we, we got three, uh, three bet. And we stole it. Alright, got Ace King offsuit. 
some of the three best fits call. Uh, we're out of position. Unless he's very wide, then he could probably argue something else. But we're going to call here. We're out of position. It's not a great plot for Ace King. So this is something I'll learn too. So even if we. Ooh, okay. Probably check raise here if we really wanted to. But it's going to call. Unfortunately, we missed, but he could have still have the best. We could still have the best hand here if he calls. Uh, just checks behind. But I think if he bets here, he's definitely in front. But if he checks here, he could also have like a king type hand. Or it's actually a pretty scary board. Eight, seven, six, five, four. He could have nine. I've got a bit of a rule. Um, you shouldn't actually call a big bet the shop anyway. I've got a bet here with Ace Queen. We do have a good kicker as well. Um, he had 29% VPIP, which means he's a little bit looser. We go for the steal with a Jack 2 offsuit. We hit a 2. Just going to go for a check, see if we can spike another 2. I actually don't mind that because you can actually get a lot of good hands. We've got Ace 8 here. We've got to fold out of the way. Just start with 1 2. Um, you know, have to check fold, or at least, you know, fold later in the hand. Got to try and steal a bit more, but need to be a little bit more reluctant here to, uh, you know, add more into the pot. All right, hidden eight. We don't need the better more. We've got showdown value. We've got showdown value doesn't mean we've got a decent hand here. All right, king jack at three bet here. King jack suit is pretty good range. Queen Jack is definitely good against the cutoff. I'm gonna flat C uh, Ace Ten suited though. Ah, right, so he's gonna four bet. This guy's a bit of a fish. I'm gonna call him. All right, let's get to check and see what he does after that. This guy does. He knows with three bet a bit wider. This is where the fun begins. Get a call behind anyway. All right, Ace Ten suit is gone. Now let's go check behind. I've got an open ender with King Queen, which is a nice flop, but he could also price this out as well. Right, let's get a check here. Did get clubs on the board, which could be scared. Four two is going to try and steal. Could be the worst hand still, but we're just going to check behind here. You could also have hands like kings or aces he's scared of as well. Ah, right, so we'll write the call, but he's still had an ace. All right, we just got a jam here with king jack suited. Um, the board does pair up, so it means he could still have a book. He could have a full house. So be it. It also looks like we could be bluffing here a lot of times. Um, if he's got a four, he could find a call probably. The three about kings and ten suited there. All right, so that was a nice hand. All right. Whenever you have the nuts or something like that, or you know pocket aces here, you're only going to get called by sixes or sevens, like seriously, or you know aces or kings. There's really no point shoving in, especially if you've got a really made hand. I'm going to bet here with an ace of hearts. And we're just taking our time with our decisions. I'm going to check behind and try and get the free card. This is why you're playing position. So we've got two pair. Um, there's a flush out there, but we don't care about that. We're going to go for thin value. He could have two. He could have an ace king or an ace queen that he could find a foot a call. And if you don't make that call, um, you'd be losing a lot of money. King queen from the small blind. We're going to fold. Because he didn't close the action, and it's not a premium hand, it's actually a marginal hand pre flop. So you could actually find a lot of trouble, um, you know, playing that hand pre um, post flop. And it's actually not going to flop well, especially against someone like with an ace king or or an ace queen. I'm going to call with ace two suited. Definitely going to call king queen against the small blind. Black ball is gone. Ace two, not a great flop, just going to let go. Hit a set with threes. Bit cool here just because it clubs with the king queen. All 
All right, so gonna hit a set. Just trying to uh, see what he's doing. Gonna bet here if he's gonna call, he's gonna call. But another free card. Probably could have bet the turn. Look like a scare card. Gonna bet here and purely just bluff our ass off. He could call. There is an ace on the board, so if he's hit an ace, he's never folding. We sparked the six on the river, got the fold with the king and queen, which is nice. I got a better. We do have a book. Could go for the steal for seven six, which is nice. Uh, we closed the action down there with ace three suited. Got a grey flop. Maybe you shouldn't have played this hand, but. Could have the best hand if everyone else has missed it. If everyone check checks, we could actually have the best hand here you know, if everyone's got like King Jack or King 3 is folding, obviously he's still playing a queen. Let's get it out of the way there. Alright, got two hearts here, need a four as well. The four could be poison as well. Had to check there, now we've got the nuts. Gotta overbet it and shove. I um, mean if he's got hearts he's calling. It's just an overbet. Sometimes you gotta do that and get the full value of the hand. Alright, Ace King got three bet there. A6 is three betting. 10-5-4 is a pretty dry board. But there is spades, but we could also have the best hand. So we've got to value it. Check behind with the clubs. We've got an ace, but we've got clubs as well. Alright, I need to spark a club. Sometimes this ace might not be good enough with the six in the background. Now I'm going to call with twos. We have to call with clubs in the ace. Unfortunately, I missed. If he bets heavy here, we we could be good here a lot of the times, but he could still have an ace jack or an ace ten, so just check behind. So he's just bluffing in this case. And this is why we didn't bet on the turn as well. Just to try and keep his being um keep his keep his uh, bad hands and bluffing range in there. Because sometimes they do bluff with bad hands, you just you just uh catch them on the river and there's a lot of players that will make bets that don't make sense king eight's going still pocket twos making a call trying to spike right, king five got a raise king queen got a raise so it gets the dealer button this is a bit gets the cutoff quite a gut shot as well you could check raise that one two's gonna fold actually king eight's gone Jack 8 suited, we just call. Probably not the best call, but we can spike a 9, hopefully. Right, I can check raise here and just. Alright, let's get a bit over bet here to 28 and see what he does. It looks like a fold. it looks like a bluff. But he could fold a lot of hands as well. Alright, just floating ace team suited. Hopefully he's trying to get a heart as well. Calling a raise as well. Unfortunately we both miss. Or oh, I miss, I don't know if he's missed. He goes all in. He could be bluffing as well, but who knows. He might have a set as well. It's unfortunate. Um, if we hit the, you know, the other heart come out, maybe he's doing that as well. Alright, King Jack offsuit. We've got a three bet here. It's probably a little bit wide. Uh, we eat two pair, unless they've got a set of twos. So that's actually a nice hand to win. I'm going to call sevens. Pocket eights could be the best hand. Could actually argue to check this hand as well. Eights could be a good hand as well. Could actually half bet it and then check check on the river hopefully. This while he's chasing possibly. Oh, 
Now we've just spiked the river. Uh, unless he's got quad sevens, we do have the best hand ever. And then we just shoves when he's only get called by better. He actually had a straight, but by shoving there, he's only going to get called by better. Now you got to really realize, is your hand really that good? Like he doesn't know what we had, but maybe put this on a seven. Could actually be a really good hand, but All right, I've got five three. We could probably check raise this. Could be a two on the board. Got to be a little bit, little bit careful now. Uh, I'm gonna check raise and just see where we're at. We could have the worst hand here as well. It's gonna go check call him on the flop. He might actually. On the turn of oh, river, sorry, but he might check here. Ah, I don't put. I don't think he's got a two or a seven. He might have an ace. We're gonna call anyway. Ah, he's got pocket twos, but we saved money by um, not betting. We did slow down. Could have maybe found a fold on the on the river, but. I think he could have had an ace as well. All right, ace three suited is going in the trash. It's a little bit too expensive. All right, got pocket kings, which looks nice. That's gonna raise against the fish. Um, yeah, 42 is he looks really fishy, just limping in. Ace five could be a um, a four bet as well if they three bet us. All right, so we don't know what this guy is. We're gonna bet him anyway. Got the ace. He could keep calling anyway, but he's fold. So it's just a nice easy bet. He gets out of the hand. Hit a six, but we just check. I'm um, just gonna. Just see what they're going to do here. All right, so I don't think he's got an ace here, but he could have better than an ace. He could still have, like, not better than an ace, but he could have kings or something like that, or queens. Yeah, nines, okay. Well, over, you know, medium pocket pair there, above the eight. That's what I probably meant. And that's what people do. And then, but the good players there will actually bet. They'll actually bet and try and get you to with a six or an eight. All right, seven four suit. Got a razor, probably a little bit thin with seven four, but we still got away with it. All right, do we have position with? A check razor, jack six. Okay, he's just gonna check behind, unfortunately. Goes all in. I'm not gonna call though. I'm not going to raise here. Like he did number seven because he might have called and then spiked it on the river. And then I guess losing a lot there. We'd have to check <laughs> check fold the river. That'd be pretty sad. Deck four offsuits gone in the trash. I gotta bet this is checking. A lot of people will throw a bet in pre flop and then just not have a good hand. So they're purely just trying to steal, steal the blinds and then they just give up. So what they check to you on the on the you know on the flop, just throw a bet in. But if they call, then sometimes you will be aware that they will, you know. All right, you can see bet a lot of this. This is a dry board. If he's got ace king, some people will actually bet here. He's got a low pot. We're happy with king jack and just check, um, just call behind. So you could actually be valuing here with aces and kings and queens. Just gonna check behind here, and we're happy to take down the pot. If he's got ace queen, he's never putting another set in the pot as well. So why would you risk yourself getting?
getting uh, check shoved. What's your reflection? That's going to call it a six. Nice hand, I think, here. Reflection. Missed it on the river. All right, I've got any seven, any club. I got the call. Unfortunately, I missed here. It bets quite big. Probably has a nine or it could probably have a jack. Yeah, at least jack seven. No, uh, queen jack, maybe. Could have a lot anything, but we just missed it. Yeah, even I think in that hand. What's your reflection? Oh, we did have an ace, but yeah, it's really hard to call. You'd have to have a really good read to like even call someone and you have ace king in that scenario. What's your but yeah, we missed. So he's ace king actually, you know, just imagine that. Just imagine him betting there and we call and he's got ace king and he actually wins the hand. That's really thin value and it, and it wouldn't be out of the wouldn't be out of the ordinary because we did only we did i think it was three bet three flops so it's not impossible especially against type players as well but then nine the queen two all right let's get a call for fun let's go get a nine but unfortunately missed. that's gone seven four is gone Queen 2 is gone. 7 5 is gone. Go, go for the steal. Get the steal. Nice. Yeah. No, like it, it's a different story when you're in the small blind and, and no one's, you know, everyone has pretty much, you know, folded before you and it's up to you. Get a fold here. Everyone loves shopping in those hands. This time they didn't, but nine times out of 10, I love shoving on the gold tables. If you've seen a few videos of mine, you definitely know that they, it's what they do. We could maybe fall bet light here. I'm gonna fold. Uh, you just gotta be aware with king two suited hands, you gotta be heavily dominated sometimes. And you just gotta really hope you hit clubs. Seven four, just call. Do you have position here? If he checks to us, we get a bet. Pocket kings need to raise. Don't wanna be up against two players pre flop. Um, post flop, I mean. I'm gonna call here just because he's got a gut shot. Um, if he does slow down, we get a bet. Uh, this is a great pot for that was a good board for kings what's your reflection all right get a three bet here with ace queen Find your direction. all right get a bet here with step four and even what's if he calls direction? we could spock a five and get a straight Find your direction. also we do have an open ender and if he's got clubs what's he's going to re-raise and force us to fold Find so if he's got direction. clubs here we'll fold um, if he raises us what's your reflection? that's going to call it ace king he could be betting us with a with a you know a weaker king or an ace. So we're just gonna call behind. What's your reflection? He could still have aces here, but Find your direction. we're the ones that actually checked him. What's it's been quite big. It is what it is. Um we could probably just jam here and just go for it. What's your reflection? If he's got aces, so be it. If he's got a set so be it. He had Queen Jack. Pretty sick. It's actually really sick. Probably should have re-raised on the flop. Well, it's actually just a bad beat. Yeah, it's just unfortunate for, for us there, but we probably could have uh, re-raised on the flop. The only other thing we could have done was bet, you know. Just 
the yeah he bit it there and we just shoved it's really hard to think that we had the worst hand there queen jacks is typically not a great hand to play at a position so he's gonna lose a lot this time he actually made a lot but this time next time he's not gonna be as lucky so he's gonna, overall you're gonna lose a lot more money Got pocket threes. But yeah, the whole the whole plan today is just, just get that quantity in and just yeah, and try and get qualify for the tournament, the daily tournament, and just get those C dollars, because that's where the money is at the micros. It's not necessarily the win rates that you make, because the rake is actually very strong and people actually complain because of it. But the thing is if you can try and get the quantities in and get to the tournament, that's where the money is. And that you, you know, we literally made 89 one day, so just from being in the micros, and that's huge. And you're going to do that playing straightforward, so try and put the, yeah, try and put as much, um, try and put as many hands as you can. Jack 10, just get a call here. Not excited about it. Uh, if he puts another bet in, we're definitely folding here. But we could have spiked the jack, could have spiked the 10. We could have had the best hand there. He could have also had um, ace jack all of the times. Nice hand with pocket threes. We didn't put another 10 in there. And he didn't bet for thin value, so. Yeah, good players will. Put those little bets in. That's where the win rate is. It's something we've got to improve on, but we have improved on. You could probably argue Ace 10 was a good hand to call, but being out of position doesn't have that playability. Yeah, but that Ace King, that ace king versus Queen Jack, that hand will rarely come up. You just don't see Queen Jack 3 bet it on. Probably could have argued the 4 bet him pre flop as well. Is he calling a shove? I don't think so. I guess we could shove Ace Queen in that scenario. But then often we're going to run into flips, but I guess that's not so bad. Because Ace King will spike an Ace or a King, and you'll be up against Queens, Jacks, and Tens a lot of the times as well. And then hands like Queen Jack are folding, King Ten, all those. But every now and again you say that, then you get these bad players that will that will call with random cards. Yeah, you know, a weak Ace will turn up every now and again. I've seen it. And chances are, if you've been watching long enough, you've seen it too. Or if you've been playing long enough. Alright, we can spike a 10 of diamonds. That could also be a poison diamond. Not a great diamond, but it's actually a good diamond to get because it's one above us, but we're not excited here. He could easily have the queen, jack, or ace here diamonds here and bet it. I just want to see him check and then we check behind and we'll win the pot. That'd be nice. Yep, and there we go. Ace Queen wins the C bet, that's nice. Jack 3 gets the steal. Alright, got Ace Queen offsuit, which is a nice hand. 10 5's gonna open if they if cut off folds. Could probably argue a 3 bet there as well. Alright, let's get a call here. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna fold. Uh, it's going to fold here. Often the big blind can have a king. Pocket sevens, just got to go along and set mine. And seven offsuits folding. We don't close the action down with ace five suitors, so you got to let it go. Pocket sevens. If we hit a 7, there's no straights yet. We close the action down, so might as well. 
I don't think the seven diamonds is going to be good enough to call. It goes all in. I'd say he's got a set here. Uh, hit top pair, but good kick it, so you got to check it. I'm not going to throw any value here. He's checked behind. He's going to throw a bet in. He's hit Jack 2, wow. So Jack 2 shoves, Ace Jack calls. Pretty ca crazy call, actually. But 56% tells you he's, he's shoving quite wide. Alright, just going to check call here with King 7. This will open up his bluffing range a little bit. He's got 41% as well. So he might not be able to read the hand as well as some people. So he might think that we're weak. But he might actually throw a bet in. He might also have a 4 as well. I'm trying to sum this up. Queen 9 get a call. See if we can spike a diamond. Which we do. Which is really nice. Get a free card the river. If he had an ace or... If he had an ace or... You know. A really strong hand. He should have always bet that for turn. We could have probably went for thin value. Knowing he didn't have an ace. Because if he had an ace... He should have bet there. Alright, gonna check behind with the weak kick queen. This is where if a 9 or a 10 comes on on the river, we can thin value it a bit. I thought it didn't, but he could still have a 2 or a 3 and, you know, we can probably bet this and if he calls, we could be the best hand. He, he might still call with 8s, 9s or 10s here. Probably 8s or 9s since we have the 10. No, he folds, but it was a small bet we tried for Thin Bay. Jack 9 is definitely going out of the hand, out of position. Well, Queens is nice. Didn't show any value, like we didn't show anything there. We could have probably bet the flop. But it looks like someone's got like an ace queen, some type hand. Gonna check here, 9 8, but I'm not excited about it. There could be a jack or a queen, obviously. <laughs> Nine seven suited, but it gets a small stack. I'm gonna get rid of it. A lot of the offsuit hands we just get rid of. There's no point playing them. All right, it's gonna call. Don't want to three bet him from under the gun. All right, probably just gonna fold here. A lot of the times, not going to be great board for us. Uh, out of position, proper four is going to raise. Uh, it's going to half better. He could put us on Ace King. I'm going to check here and act like I've got Ace King. Now it's going to raise, shove all in. I got a king queen a bit. He's gonna be like, oh my god, what's he doing? He's got ace king. What's he got? Some people might actually have seen that I've had ace king of diamonds in this spot, and they're gonna make the call. Nah, so I think he's gonna fold them. Maybe we shouldn't have checked shove. Maybe we should just check there. But who knows, um, there could be a lot of dangerous cards out there that he will fold. So while there's not that many dangerous cards out there, and he thought he had the best hand, we've got a better chance of him calling, rather than an ace comes out. But if he had an ace there, then possibly it could help the call. But yeah, three betting there. Preflop was definitely a good choice. And then we made the hand, like make the money there six is gonna call just because people get stuck with sixes pretty uh with an ace pretty easy gotta call one more if you see trips it's gonna he's never letting go and then hopefully get into a re-raise race scenario
Got a gut shot with the queen too, could have better. He's showing no strength at all, so we might as well try and take it down. Get the free card on the river, I think he's gonna check here. So you normally check to the aggressor. He could have had a jack as well. Yeah, he's definitely got a jack. Not necessarily, but we don't have a strong hand there. He could easily have an ace or a king or a queen. And just out kick us, you know, just out kill it. Just... It's where you check and people think you've got a weak hand, but we actually still have a strong hand. Another spade comes out on the turn, it's gonna help. Yeah, another king could come out as well. Jack's coming in. Open sense is not much. Just gonna call one more. You have an ache, it's a king. If he checks behind, he's probably got a weak ace. He's just value betting here. We got a fold. You could think maybe you could re raise there, but people get so sticky uh, with an ace, it's no, he's just gonna be burning. So there's no point. In it. Gonna keep betting here really fast. Uh, unfortunately, folded. Pocket Eight's got three bet, which is nice. The three bet fold. Opening up six two suited. Let the gas shot can continue on. No five, so we actually won the hand by just playing aggressive, which is fine. I hit the queen. It's not great for us, but. We could often have a jack there. It's in his range. Simple folds. Alright, ace two. Oh, nice. Seven sixes. Only nine hands, look at that go. Yeah, only nine hands is not enough to justify. But you bet the you know, the straight. Three bet ace jack uh, ace queen suit. Just check behind the queen uh but the knights played pretty subtle with it. You see he had a weak ace. So we bet that on the river, we just value betting ourselves. Not worth it. Close the action down with sixes, let's get six. Pocket nines get a raise. Call the sixes. I've got the nine on the wrong table. I'm going to call with nines. Could be wrong. Okay, it's a good choice. 
misses the flop, we should be all right. There we go. Nice hands. He was quite wide with you know twenty percent, but his three bet was quiet. His three bet was twenty five percent, so his shoving range won't be. It will be tighter, but not that tight. So I put him on any any ace. He was on the top end of his range though. This guy had three bets, fourteen percent. We're gonna actually four bet here. He checks. Sixes, we're going to go for a free card. Get the ace spiking up. Unfortunate. We could probably get the flop there. Hopefully, he checks behind. He's got like tens, but. He might have kings. It makes sense that he's got kings. Maybe he's got a queen. No, I don't think he's got a queen. He's got a nine. <laughs> it's gonna say tens. Okay, tens, kings. Just something to be. Oh, not kings because he would have bet the queen. A three bet king eight suited. Card on the on the river. Forty threes there. Going for a bluff here, King Eight. Alright, so going for clubs. Hopefully, we get a free card. We got two pairs. It's gonna half it up. Looks like we don't have a good hand here. Might call this with a jack. Fours are going for a ride. He didn't call, unfortunately, but maybe didn't even have a jack. 10 3 get a call just because it's suited. A lot of good turn cards coming our way, so we have to call the flop. It's one card, but I'd rather see a four. I would have rather seen like four of hearts. Because the four of hearts now come out for. We would have had a straight. A lot of hands here we beat actually. Could have a lot of ace kings and yeah, yeah. king jack type hands. Yeah. Alright, fours are gone. Yeah. I got a gut shot. Just gotta check behind. Hopefully get a club on the turn. Let's see if we can get any jack, any clubs. He's got a call behind. He's deep stacked as well. He could be chasing as well. So the 10 could be good here, but the way he's played it, he could have a queen or a weak king. And he had a set, so he's trying to play quiet. That's not how you play a set. Well, he did bet quite big on the river, on the turn, but not that big. But we had a lot of outs. But he should have at least bet on he should have bet on the river because what happens if we had a king? He should have bet the, he should have bet the river. I'm gonna call a seven. Um be sevens. Queen sevens no luck. Close the action down with sixes, so be cool. Sevens are going. I'm gonna throw a bet in here with Queen Seven. No strength shown at all. I'm gonna call call here with sixes just to see if we can spike a six. If he's got a queen, could be a lot of good um, hands for us. Just gonna get rid of the sixes. Unfortunately, that big bet, but just trying to be cheeky there. Got a three bet queens, three moon hands. It's a small little pot, that's fine. What a great hand, a six off. 
But we do have position. We'll be folding three bets. They didn't three bet us, so they couldn't have a strong king here, obviously. Let's get a bet here and they get a fold all of the times. If not, if we get caught, we just give up the hand. It's that easy. Because they didn't three bet, like you don't put them on a strong hand. They're on a capped range, but after he folds and now they got cause, we can't bluff anymore. He's gonna have something. So playing a king, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Got an open ender with the queen. Nine. Get a free card, that's fine. We'll get a bet this one if Ace King offsuit's gonna raise. We use folds behind. If you remember we did call free flop. I uh, got the ace of clubs, got top pair, top kicker. Unfortunately they folded. The call with Ace Queen. It's gonna call this floating. This is what they call floating when you've got over cards above. I should get a bet here. I quite got king. He didn't show much strength there as well. Betting quite low, so we put some pressure on the river. Let's check behind here. Not a great board. Actually, we're gonna bet it because it's got, we could be best here. He raises and we just let go, it's fine. Open ender with Jack 10. Pocket fours is going for the limp. Oh, it's the call behind actually. It's not a limp. All right, Jack 10. Got another call in this, it's not expensive. Free card with the fours. Got a call behind with ace three. There is diamonds now. Missed the diamonds. He slows down, we just bet him and hopefully he folds. We have the best hand with twelve uh with fours here. Ace three is gone. King ten suits going opening up. Down for the steal. Ah, uh, we've got spades. We've got the nuts. Let's check raising if he does it. If he got a straight, he might call. Get a round three bet with ace on. Yeah, so he meant the call. He's probably got a straight. Oh, he's got two pen. That's the reason why you make the raise because I do get that value in sometimes 3-2 suit it just didn't get there but I think 4s are enough to call here so he's got 3rd pair maybe we could have justified a bit there on the river and get a fold he didn't look really strong so we could probably have stole that pot right, I'm going to raise a bit higher with aces here we got burnt last time we didn't raise enough and they're going to find the folds often. Let's continue the bet here and then just shove all turns pretty much here. If he's got a set of kings, so be it. If he folds, so be it as well. We're happy with the nine, but just need to find a little bit of pop control. The diamond's no great. It's not a great card for us. I'm going to call one more. I think we can check fold. Oh, we can just fold this. Back, pull behind. Could be okay sometime. Could have a weak jack. 
a skill check. That's fine. All right, so we've got top pair here with a good, with a decent kicker. Could be fine. Actually, gonna half bet this and actually see if we can actually value bet. We could be value betting ourselves though. All right, so I had two pair. I'm gonna call King Jack suited. It's not a great hand to call, but could have probably offered a fold there. If it's a bit half pot, we could we could probably uh falling here. Um let's see what he does. Yeah, he's probably got ace queen just shoving. Four aces. Probably could have found a fold pre-flop. Pocket twos, get a raise with pocket twos. Try and build that pot up before he folds and then he calls that he spoke that too. Like we did the when we had the fours. We ended up getting that. Now he doesn't know what we got. Yeah, he wasn't sure if we were trapping or not. Oh, wow. He's so good, no, he's not. Uh, yeah, check behind. I could have the second best hand here. Uh, gotta bet the uh, uh, jack, but you could have queens and kings and aces slow playing here. I call it nines, but I don't like it. All right, so we'll get the flush, we'll win. He had the straight, that's way bet. So he actually is going for thin value, but he actually thin valued himself. He's running a bluff. He's got a king. If he shoves us for folding. He doesn't know what we got though. Trying to read us. Maybe he's hit. He's trying to get us the. We just don't care. We never talk. Never answer. He doesn't know if we've got aces or not. He just folds. I mean, I'm not going to show. I right, got two spades and nearly nine. We can check raise with jack two. And um, we're going to actually do that. And then jam. If he jams with ball. He might find a fold as well. If he calls and we hit that card, that'll be nice. lucky and this is why you play the 
Ooh, we'll hit trips. Alright, we're gonna we'll get a three bet this we're gonna check raise the trips. Just because the hearts on the board, we need to try and get as much in as possible before it happens. We're gonna actually fold this one, King Eight. I'm gonna check call the river. He might have Ace Queen here. And value bet himself. Does he ever set really? Could he have 4 2? I'm actually just gonna call it. And hopefully he's got like Ace Queen. He had a set. Okay. Probably could have folded there. But it's a tough fold. Yes, it's a bad beat. Quite tough, that one. Alright, I get a C-bet 9s. It's because there's a bit of scare cards on the, on the king. Plus we raise pre-flop. Give me a 6, please. Alright, we raised pre-flop. He didn't 3-bet, so... He could have a weak king, not have enough a king. Could be just chasing the pan. Let's get a bet again. Yeah, he folds. Because he's got a weak, he's capped himself, so. There's nice little ball. Get a cool one more with sixes. If we do have a six, we're going to stack him off, hopefully. Jack's got a three bet. Yeah, no, it's gonna fold sixes. It's a bit quite sharp there in the end. Gonna check raise here with Jax. Gonna finish this up. Is the last hand with Jax. Nice hand with Jax. Unfortunate with the trips, but that can happen a lot of times. Right, hit mid pair with the ace. I'd rather it have been a heart. It's going to fold out the way. Easily have a Jax. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Have a good time.